اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the last session on moderated mediation analysis, we had one indirect effect that is from OC to OP through CC. However, in this example, I've got two indirect effects, one from OC to OP through CTL and the other one from CC. I have one moderating variable RA and I'm interested in finding out whether this relationship, this indirect relationship from OC to OP through CC and CTL is being moderated by RA, that is moderated mediation. The indirect effect being moderated and the moderator is RA. The first step as we know from the last session and again those who haven't watched the last session, please do so. Now each particular path is named D path, B path, so on and so forth. So you just double click on it go to parameters and name these parameters. Now as we know that in order to find out the indirect effects or whether or not your indirect effects are moderated, you need to create user defined estimates. That is, we need to create certain formulas that can help us calculate the estimates. The estimates whether or not there is indirect effect or whether or not the indirect effect is being moderated. Now as we know that we calculate the indirect effect through multiplication of these paths that is from OC to CC that is A path multiplied by B path. Similarly, you can calculate the indirect effect here from OC to CTL, CTL to OP by multiplication of F path into G path. However, these other paths are also used in calculation. Now your path from this interaction term to the mediator is E path, whereas H path shows the path from your interaction term to the other mediator. Now in order to get the index of moderated mediation, you simply have to multiply this path here with this B path and this path here H path with this G path. But before going into further detail and analyzing our results, we first need to look into our estimate. So you go in and edit your indirect effect. Now in the previous session, we only had one mediator, so one indirect effect. Now in this case, we have two mediators, that is two indirect effects. And I want to find out whether each of these indirect effects is moderated by role ambiguity or not. So the first thing that we do is we create the indirect effect. That is, we find out whether there is an indirect effect from OC to OP through CC and CTL. So the indirect effect here, indirect AB, this is the variable. To calculate the indirect effect and we calculate it through multiplication of A path into B path. Again what is this? One standard below AB, one standard above AB. Now this is your indirect effect. So what is one standard below, one standard above? Now this is high level of moderator, that is high role ambiguity. This is low role ambiguity. So what is your indirect effect at high level of role ambiguity? and at low level of role ambiguity. Is there a change in the indirect effect at low role ambiguity and at high role ambiguity? Now you have to create this formula in order to find out whether the indirect effect at low and high changes or not. Now how do we calculate this formula? Look at this. Now this is your E path. This is the path from this interaction term to your mediator multiplied by the standard deviation of your role ambiguity. Now your standard deviation of role ambiguity with a negative sign. Why? Because you are assessing the indirect effect at low level of role ambiguity. Once these are multiplied, the next step is you add it to your A path. What is your A path? That is the path from your independent variable to your mediator. And once that is done, finally you multiply it with your B path. That is the path from your mediator to your dependent variable. Now for above, obviously, just the change is that you do not have a negative sign because this is the indirect effect at higher level of moderator. Now I am interested in finding out whether this path and this path here, both of these paths, both of these indirect paths are being moderated. Now, in order to find out, we have to get an index of moderated mediation. Now in order to get that index of moderated mediation, what I simply do is 
multiply this path here from the interaction to your mediator that is your e path multiplied by your b path that is from mediator to dependent similarly the other index of moderated mediation would be h path because that is the path from your interaction term to your mediator that is the other mediator multiplied by g path that is the path from the mediator to your dependent variable so what if if i had a third indirect effect as well now again the formula would not change now that we know that this is how you create the formula let's go on and assess the output calculate and let's go to our output here are our results and the first thing that we need is let's see user defined estimates now this is your effect size here look at this this is way too low must be insignificant this is quite well but look at the signs negative sign so your indirect effect is influenced negatively by the role ambiguity that means if there is higher role ambiguity the indirect effect is weakened however if there is lower role ambiguity the indirect effect is strengthened in this case but is that effect significant or not so where is your p value for all these effect sizes if you come here look at this so the indirect effect here is insignificant let me change this a bit here let's move this so your indirect effect from oc to cc to op that is the indirect effect from oc to op through cc is insignificant so cc is not mediating the relationship between oc and op however if you look here this fg ctl is significantly mediating the relationship between oc to op that this shows that there is an indirect effect of oc on op through ctl however in this case there was no mediation because the p value is greater than 0.05 now again whether it was high role ambiguity or low role ambiguity the indirect effect was still insignificant however in this case at high or low role ambiguity there was a significant mediation so there was a significant indirect effect at high and low role ambiguity now look at this at low role ambiguity the indirect effect is strengthened that is negative effect of ra that is at low ra the indirect effect is strengthened however at higher level of role ambiguity the indirect effect is weakened but we are interested in finding out whether or not there is moderated mediation whether or not at high or low level of role ambiguity the indirect effect changes significantly yes it does changes significantly that is the indirect effect is moderated by role ambiguity so we can say through these results that there is moderated mediation that is the indirect path from oc to op through ctl is being moderated by role ambiguity now if you have more mediators that is 3 or 4 you just simply have to follow these steps you have to find out your indirect effect you have to find out the indirect effect at low level and high level and further you will have to find out the index of moderated mediation that you do through multiplication of this path here this path from your interaction term to your mediator and from your mediator to your dv just simply multiply these paths and this will give you your index of moderated mediation i hope this session would have complemented on the earlier session on moderated mediation and further strengthened your understanding of moderated mediation thank you very much